The problem of this is that um, the BIOS is locked. So this PC could not be used. It is locked. You have to unlock before it boots. So the person said that he forgot the password. So I'm going to show you how a password can be unlocked. Well, this way, now we have to remove the BIOS chip and reprogram it. Basically, that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to use the same firmware. I extract the BIOS, the password, and then reflash it on it again. Yeah. So let me turn this on so that you see how this thing is. Yep. So there's a plugin. <coughs> this should turn on by itself. Yeah, it turns on. Uh, it's a request for password. You see? <laughs> and this is the name of the person. Yeah. So with that password, it won't go further. Yeah. So let's see how we can make this work.
Yeah, so do you notice the difference now? You know, before it was saying that you pressed password. Yeah, because the BIOS has been passworded. So I removed the chip, extract the content of the chip. But uh, it was crazy that uh, the program programmer could not identify the ID of the chip. So I look for one. I choose, I manually choose one that will work for it. Okay. So the one that I chose, it's, it's, it could be able to read the content. Not everything is FFFF. As you can see in the, yeah, in the video that I made. So after that, so I extracted that. After I uh, extracted that one, yeah. So I used the software in order to, you know, unlock the BIOS. So after that, then I reach um, this thing. What is it called? The BIOS chip. And write the one that, has, that I have unlocked on it. And yeah, it is. And after that, I you know, uh, restore the factory defaults of the BIOS. And here is it. No, pa the password has been removed. Yeah. So, job, the job is done. Yeah. So that's, that's, that's how to go about it. That's how to go about it. Initially, when I tried to write it on it, it was saying that I could not open. Why? Because the software that I used to unlock it was still, um, was still on. So that means the unlock firmware was still active on that on that on on the unlocker so i had to quit it i closed it so after i closed it, i was able to you know write the unlocked bios firmware on this chip and yeah is it it's working it's perfect so now is to give it to you know it was a technician that brought it actually yeah so it's to give it to the face you just continue yeah, the person will do it because you know you you'll be wondering why do I have just to replace the hissing without you know replacing yeah replacing the CPU. Well, the owner will be the one to do that. My hope is just to unlock the BIOS and the BIOS has been unlocked. Job well done.